My lord, I have secured the path so that we may advance. Now all of our forces can fight those defending Shu Chang and defeat them all. Oh, thanks, Lu Xun. That's really good. We're all counting on you. It's nothing, really. I only ask that you remember the boon. Ah, the one about your family, right? I haven't forgotten. In fact, I think you've done a lot to redeem your family name today. They're just riding on your glory. Well, it's time we taught the enemy a lesson. All right, let's go! My family will rise again. Whatever it takes, I swear I will do it. Right! It is finished! The battle's won! Brother! The enemy won't follow us here. All of you, to the main camp, now! Well, what do you say? Do you have some plan? We are waiting for you to tell us what to do, now that your brother is gone. We will build our kingdom. We must strengthen it from the inside. That is where we will start. So then, I'll guard the outside. You can leave it to me. I'll ensure that we stay in control, while you are concentrating on Wu. Lu Xun. You must be careful. I have a dream I will fulfill, and nothing else will distract me from my path. How dare he? Liu Bei can't be trusted. He's brought uncertainty to the land. For now, Guan Yu holds the Jing province. He was once Cao Cao's vassal. Thanks to him and the untrustworthy Liu Bei, the situation is even less favorable for us in Wu. And yet, the time for quietly watching has passed. We must retake the province of Jing. Ah, Lu Xun, you have returned. And how did things go with you? It went well. I have convinced the barbarians to join us. I have changed our strategies to reflect this. Hmm. Then Lu Xun, may I leave this in your capable hands? Yes. That is in fact what I came here to ask of you. I was not there at Chi Bi, but in Jing I'll make up for my absence. Impossible! I can't believe that Cao Cao would ever fight alongside he us. He would. Guan Yu is a threat to Wei, as he is to us. We are both threatened. For now, we are outnumbered. In order for us to grow, we need to retake Jing province. Lu Xun, what is driving you? I wish to ensure Wu takes its rightful place as leader of this land. When this is realized, my greatest dreams will come true. <sighs> I understand. My lord, I shall move to support. It's best if Lu Xun deals with this. That's true. Lu Xun, listen. Our future lies in your capable hands. Very well done, Lu Xun. This victory brings us closer to the day when we will triumph. Master Lu Meng! What a strange fate. To be brought down by an arrow after the battle is won. <sighs> Forgive me. If I hadn't driven us to such a fight as this. It is not your fault. Listen, Lu Xun. 
You must broaden your vision. There is much at stake here. Your desire is important to you, but you must also think of where our Lord seeks to go. Master Lu Meng? Master Lu Meng! Three countries bound as one. In peace. This agreement's your goal. Yes. I believe we all can live in peace. The current state of affairs is a good one. At times, representatives of each power will gather together to ensure that peace is kept between all. So assuming that there is no war, Wu and Shu, and even Wei, would exist together in peace. That's right. I have a vision of the future. We will throw off the shackles of the past to build a new land. But then, in the present world, even the Battle of Jing... The present is merely a pathway to the future. Some battles must be fought, such as the one we face with Liu Bei. Lu Xun, will you fight with me? I will. I give you my word. <laughs> what thoughts are in your mind? I had a goal at first. I would restore my family's influence and prominence. Just like Liu Bei, I was desperately holding on to a dream founded in a past glory. But our Lord, he has a vision of an entirely new type of land, a vision of the future. So you want to depart from us then? Will your path verge from Wu? No. I will follow my Lord's path, though I do have some regrets. Our future is found ahead. We must put the past away. I see. Zhou Fang, I have decided we'll use your plan in the battle. You do realize that it is you who will be in the most danger. Please, be careful. Ling Tong, the battle will be fought near Wan Castle. Will you go there and prepare for it? I will. <sighs> we are being very cunning this time, aren't we? Imagine the faces on those idiots from Wei. Is something wrong, my lord? No. It just struck me that you had changed. I have changed, my lord? Then yes. I have learned a great deal from both you and from Master Lu Meng. I know that I alone cannot bear the weight. No, I can't do it alone. You've decided? You desire me to become the Prime Minister? Right away? The Prime Minister must hold meetings. The land must be governed in a manner we all agree to. In effect, it puts you at the head of all the families in the land. As I said, you must take the position. At the start, when I embraced my Lord's dream, I thought it a necessity that I abandon my own. What a revelation! Now I see. When the land's at peace, then every one of us can pursue his vision. My brother's vision differed from this. Are you disappointed, Lucian? No. I am very grateful. This path will be exciting. 
All right. Now, let us defeat the final enemy. The one between us and our goal. Today, we have just begun to step into the future that is waiting for us all. Brothers, the land will no longer be governed by merely one man or one force. All of the noble families, all of the people, together we must nurture this new land that we will build. Every kindness you receive must be passed to your neighbor. Your kindness will come back to you. The future's like a bright star. It's up to us. We'll build a new path. The future is ours. I know we'll succeed with you at our head. Friends, we will do it together. A new age of prosperity awaits us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.